Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What a great morning it is for us to celebrate our redemption in Christ Jesus. You know, the Word of God tells us that Jesus made an everlasting covenant with us through His blood. When He died on that cross, the blood that He spilled was for our redemption. Redemption means we are bought back. We belong to the power of darkness. But He came and He paid the price. Not with money which is corruptible, but with the incorruptible seed of the word of God or his blood that was shed brought us out of the power of darkness into his marvelous light. And we're going to sing this song that talks about the redemption in Christ. Begins by saying that how Jesus died on the cross. Then it reminds us how he went to hell. He fought the fight there. And then it also tells us that he rose again. The grave could not hold him because he, the power of Christ, raised him up from the dead. That's a reason to celebrate. Amen. Let's worship him and give him all our praise. And all of you online, join us as we sing about our redemption in Christ Jesus. I love that scripture in, I believe it's in Peter, where he says that we are redeemed not with corruptible things like silver and gold, but with the precious blood of Christ. The blood of Jesus that was spilled is still powerful 2,000 years later. When we sing about the blood, the enemy, he hates it because he knows that's where he was defeated. You know, the price that Jesus had to pay on the cross, it was a heavy price. It was not something that, you know, you could say that he was a spirit who hung up there. It was not. It, he, was a, he was flesh and blood just like you and I. But he came down and he broke the chains of the curse that Adam Adam brought into this world. When he disobeyed in the garden, the curse came into the world. And someone had to pay that price. And Jesus, he said, I'll step down and I'll pay it. And that blood he shed is for 2,000 years later and forever, eternally, it is still working today. That blood can bring you healing in your body. It can, you know, the blood of Jesus, it can heal your mind. If you're going through mental torments in your mind, it can heal you today. And we believe and we speak that out. The blood of Jesus is able to bring healing into you, restoration into your life. Amen. Let's sing about the redemption we have in Christ. Lord, we come before you and we're so thankful to you that you came down to this world. You thought about us and you came and you gave everything that you had for us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for redeeming us, yes. not with corruptible things as silver and gold, which is perishable. But you offered your body a sacrifice for us. Mm. And we remember, Jesus, this covenant we have. We can stand here today as sons of God only because of your blood. And we praise you. We honor you, Lord. We rejoice in our redemption. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's sing about our redemption. Redeemed by the blood. Hallelujah.
he did proclaim more powers in my hand Go therefore and preach the news of glad tidings to all men says that we are blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. When the Lord promised that he was giving the promised land to the children of Israel, there were many who doubted. But two men, Caleb and Joshua, they said, let us go up at once and possess the land for we are well able. They decided to be, believe the report of the Lord. When others were believing the report of doubt, looking at the land and they said how can we fight these giants but they forgot that the Lord God of Abraham had promised them and if the Lord has given you a promise don't look at those giants that are in front of you look at the promise and say I'm gonna go up at once and possess those promises if it's in the word it belongs to me so this song is from that scripture what Caleb said let us go and possess every promise it's not only for Caleb, because in Christ, all the promises of God are yes and amen. So let's possess them. Amen. Let's see. Yeah. 
look at your neighbor and let's encourage them with those lines with Jesus it's impossible to fail look at each other and say that with Jesus it's impossible to fail oh yes you know Jesus even though he looked like a failure on the cross he was not a failure because he was destroying the power of sin death and poverty and moreover his redemption has brought us freedom to sing songs like this through his redemption we can possess every promise in him so let's sing that promise again the joy of the lord is our strength glory to god the joy of the lord is your strength the joy of the lord is your strength covenant he has made with us let's continue thanking him as we sing these songs of redemption we're justified made righteous in him thank you lord i am in Relationship with God through the blood of Jesus Christ. I am in covenant. Relationship with Christ, oh, His blood is precious to me. I am in covenant. Relationship with God. Jesus Christ, I am in covenant, relationship with Christ, all oh, His blood is precious to me. i 
relationship with Christ or His Word is precious. I sing is justified, mean us righteous. And I'm justified, I'm justified, I'm sanctified. Just as if I never sinned, that's my standing position with Christ. That's the person He's made me to be, complete, holy in His sight. Oh, that's the person He's made you to be, justified, righteous in lift our hands to the Lord and just thank Him for our redemption. Lord, we want to thank You for making an everlasting covenant with us. Thank You, Lord, for coming to this earth, taking our place and giving us Your nature of righteousness. You removed that sinful, stony heart that was so hard on the inside of us. And instead you filled it with your redemption, your salvation, every blessing. We never take it for granted. Thank you, Lord, for redeeming us from an eternal hell to live with you forever. Have an abundant life on this earth. And also know that our eternal destiny is to be with you forever. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory, blessing, and honor. Thank you, Lord. It's all told. Oh, thank you. To him who sits on the throne and unto the land. To him who sits on
that you need in time the times that you need help you can come to his throne of grace everything that flows from his throne is goodness with the angels we can sing holy is the Lord God Almighty constantly we must have a praise in our mouth having a praise in our lips it causes chains to break it can change atmospheres it can bring healing to your physical body when you just begin to open your mouth and praise the Lord, even if you're in the darkest moment of your life, don't forget that you serve a God. With Him there is nothing impossible. Nothing is too difficult for Him. Nothing is too hard for Him. You know, we're singing praises to the Lord. These words that we're singing unto Him, words of life, there's words, psalms and hymns and spiritual songs that the scripture says to encourage ourselves with. When we sing a song of praise to our King of Kings, we're lifting Him on high. When we're singing a song of healing that's beneficial for us, we're declaring His promise of healing. So let's lift our praises and say, Lord, I thank You. Thank You, Father. You are my God and my King. Let's lift that last chorus to Him. Give him our praises, blessing and honor. promises together. Father, I thank you for the redemption that you have given me, brought me out of darkness into your marvelous light. I am seated with you now in heavenly places. Thank you for the everlasting covenant that you have made with me. I am privileged to be your son privileged to stand before you righteous thank you for coming to this earth 
and giving me eternal life. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank God for the covenant.